Surely one of the most iconic and visible buildings in Vancouver is the TELUS World of Science Sphere, built for Expo 86. Our next guest created this building and in fact was the chief architect of the World's Fair in 1886. 1986. He has created other iconic buildings like the Ismaili Jamat Khana and the Wiccan Interpretive Center in Tofino. In fact, this very building we are in was a student project of his when he was in UBC. His buildings are infused with his philosophy toward life and his insights into human nature. Please welcome our next guest, Bruno Freschi. Talking about architecture is like dancing about science. The images you're going to see will hopefully speak for themselves. I'm not going to speak to them. First, though, a very, very short story. Uh, as I discovered the world literally 70 years ago in Trail, BC. Um, during a game of tag, I jumped, I jumped a wall, broke my leg, and was bedridden and bored. And listening to the pitter-patter of my little mind, and of course, the only thing we had was radio. Gazing out to leafy trees and a big mountain which seemed to touch the sky and hold the moon. How could all those famous stars be in trail every day to sing these songs? How could this mountain touch the sky and hold the moon? Why was every leaf different and yet so beautiful? My older sister couriered my schoolwork back and forth, um, uh, which I faithfully had to keep up with. Neither she nor my teachers could satisfy my curiosity. I couldn't understand this idea of a globe in space somewhere, and I didn't know what to do. However, I invented a little experiment. I asked my sister to stand and to point to all these exotic places which I had heard of. Montreal, Trails of CPR Town, <laughs> London, New York, center of the world, Venice, my parents' honeymoon there, Rome, I was raised a Catholic, Buenos Aires, family, Taj Mahal, we did a model in school, Peking, before it became Beijing, the trail had a Chinatown, and of course, Vancouver. Amazingly, my sister had turned a complete 360 degree circle. Thus, I understood why the famous people were all in trail. You can tell I was technologically challenged. <laughs> why my mountain touched the sky and moon, and why I had this infinite collection of beautiful leaves. I concluded, trail indeed must be the center of the world. <laughs> it felt really good. And of course, I was lucky to be there, but alas, my plans to meet the famous, climb the mountain, collect the leaves, all was deferred because, of course, I had a broken leg and I was bedridden. And I was left to my books, drawings, and the pitter-patter of my little mind. So I decided on yet another impossible dream, to collect all the great thoughts. Literally an impossible dream. Trail was a world-famous hockey town, so I called it cognitive sports. This mini manifesto is an eclectic collection of aphorisms, paradoxes, and metaphors gathered from diverse and varied sources too numerous to cite and mutilated by me over time. So here is some of that mini manifesto with the visuals. First, love beauty. Brevity is the lingerie of the soul. We are contradictions. We contain multitudes. The snowflake never falls in the wrong place. The story is true. Competing narratives trump truth. 
Truth conceals that there is none. Invention is more useful than truth. Decency is a relative thing, but it would do. Wisdom is knowing you are not wise. Humor is the great equalizer. Power is a paradox. Reality is only an agreement. Freedom is an oxymoron. Prophecy is unnecessary. The future is interesting because none of us remembers it. Grow or die, evolve or perish. The price of desire is desire itself. All we start with the answer. Creativity is infinite play. Banality is held in common. All is metaphor, be creative anyway. Opacity is an irresistible challenge. Obscurity creates curiosity. Ambiguity creates empathy. Ambiguity is coolest. Incrementalism kills innovation. Art disturbs. Science reassures. All art is propaganda. Creativity is the residue of time wasted. You don't get ideas. They get you. Ends and means are oxymoronic. There are only ends. Failure of success comes as no surprise. Hands want to see, eyes want to caress. Adjectives assassinate ideas. Need trumps idea. Create need to satisfy need. Myth trumps reality. Work with doubt. Eclipse thought. Events trump plans. Vision and strategy are one thing. Technology is unidirectional. You can't step in the same water twice. Collective identity is a fraud. Style is food for fashion monkeys. The higher the monkey climbs, the more he exposes his ass. <laughs> Information like water likes to run free. All art is exaggeration. Architecture, like art, is autonomous. Architecture is a social contract. The street trumps buildings. Architecture is burdened with sign crimes. Form follows form. Sign and meaning never coincide. You go in to go out. Buildings have sex and unintended consequences. Disorganization is a kind of anesthesia. Structure is essential, but otherwise irrelevant. Theory is self-consuming. Order is only a tendency. Humanism has, was invented to control radical thought. Here's one. Romanticism was invented to control women. Private property created crime. Land belongs to no one. You can't give away what you don't have. No one thinks they have to learn to see. We cannot inherit the past. We must recreate it. Sloppy thinking only gets worse. We are what we do, especially what we do to change what we do. And an abbreviated piece of Shakespeare, all is well that ends. Thank you.